Dude, imagine you're a caveman. We didn't, language didn't exist yet. There was no language. And you're trying to communicate an idea to your caveman homie. Like you're trying to communicate that yesterday you saw a tiger by the lake nearby. Go on. So what, what, what do you do? We don't even have words yet. Could we, could we actually even form ideas about the concept of yesterday and tigers and time without the knowledge of words? Dude, I have no idea. But that makes me wonder, did words have to come first before ideas? You know, like the, like the chicken or the egg thing? Wait a minute, no, because an idea can be like an image in your mind. It doesn't have to be a word. Oh shit, you're right. But we couldn't, we couldn't communicate those ideas, those mental images to other people before language developed since we couldn't put that idea into words. And words, that's like the package delivery system for ideas. Because, you know, like words are basically just like a box that you can fit ideas in and then send them over to someone else. And then their brain unpacks it and receives the idea. Well, well, hold on, because you can communicate an idea through a symbol. You could like draw a symbol that represents a tiger and draw a symbol that represents a lake. And you could communicate an idea that way, you know, because like people will have seen a tiger and a lake. And so if you can like capture the essence of what a tiger is in a drawing, then yeah, you could communicate what it is with a with a symbol or a drawing, you know. Yeah, but you couldn't speak that idea to someone. You would, you'd just have to draw a picture of something, point at it, and hope that your homie understands your intention. Unless you start to develop sounds that you can make with your mouth that represent the drawings, that represent the real life thing. Dude, I think you just invented language. Actually, wait, but what about non-real life things? Like a drawing of a tiger represents a, a real physical thing that you can touch. And then you could like point at the drawing and go like, uh, and then eventually you'll figure out that like, uh, that like represents the drawing of the tiger, you know? And then, but like, what about the concept of time? That'd throw your fucking caveman brain for a loop. There's not enough wrinkles in a caveman brain to even comprehend time. Because the idea of time isn't something that represents like a physical thing we can touch. Yo, what the hell, man? Where are we? What up, you fucking idiots? Jesus Christ, is that God? Yo, what up, God? Uh, I always knew you were real, man. I was only listening to Sam Harris ironically. <laughs> Shut up! You guys thought you could just get high, ponder the origins of language and time, and have the fabric of reality remain intact? Not on my watch. No, sir. You tore that shit right open. You know what it's like being an omnipresent being, having to listen to some high-ass motherfuckers think they figured out some big-ass secret every fucking day? It's exhausting. You know what? Fuck it. Y'all want to talk about cavemen and shit? I'm sending you guys back to the Stone Age. Hey, he sent the blunt back with us. Let's go. Aw, oh, man.